Well, originally I'm from Syria and the conflict started around 2011, which is actually the beginning of my LLB degree. Being placed in the West, I used to follow up TV channels and radio and there wasn't so much coverage of what's going on in Syria. So I decided, given that I can speak English and Arabic and German, um, to go down to Syria uh, and report from there uh, what's happening to English and Western media outlets. I started my LLB at Manchester um, and I wanted to help the cause that I feel so passionate about in a way that involves my degree. Ibrahim came to see us with this very ambitious project of setting up an organization that will provide training in armed conflict. We helped him constitute a, an advisory board for the organization of, of which we became self members but we brought in other colleagues from, from other universities. While we did workshops parallelly, we also wanted to reach to uh, a wider target audience and that's where we started speaking to broadcast institutions, to local media activists, to TV channels, to radio stations to start and air these principles or these programs to a wider audience. Moving into my masters, um, I was able to integrate everything I learned on a daily basis even in lectures, in seminars, from the readings that we were assigned into the kind of work that I was doing. Um, and that made it much easier. You'd think that doing my masters it would be more difficult to balance both, but what was actually happening was that um, I was integrating my masters into my work and my work into my masters. Students um, are always interested in converting the things that they learn into the real world and a lot of things that we learned in Manchester was made to do so, right? It was the knowledge that was easily transferable. There's a lot of things that I felt I was contributing. I was not just another student that would go in a system, then leave. I was being part of this institution. The way I feel about going into a war zone is quite mixed emotions, um, quite an emotional roller coaster of a sort. Uh, you're happy that you're doing something, you're helping, but you're very sad of what the situation is. You're frightened because there's a lot of bombings and, and shootings going around around you, but at the same time you're proud and you have enough courage to do something like that because you're getting a consequence, you're getting something positive out of it. I would hope to qualify as a barrister uh, while having the Syrian Legal Developer Programme um, on the side catering for the legal needs that Syria has. I also hope in the future to be able to translate the experience that I got from Syria, uh, addressing the legal needs of Syria, into other conflicts in the region that may require similar attention.